Hey guys, I'm Chris. And I'm Samantha, and we're coming at you today from the living room of our house. We would normally shoot this outside, but it is September of 2020, and the entire state of California is on fire. That's an off week this week. We just got back from Phoenix last week, and next weekend we are headed up to Napa Valley. Samantha's super excited about that one. <laughs> so since we're at home this week, we wanted to make a quick video about two things that we feel if you have kids and you plan on traveling, whether it's in an RV, whether it's international travel, please do not leave home without these two things. Let's just jump right into it. Yes, the number one thing you should absolutely never leave home without is patience. And the number two item you should never leave home without, flexibility. <laughs> so we say it that way because patience is definitely an area where I struggle the most. And flexibility, sometimes I'm stubborn and I wanna to stick to my plans. <laughs> So um, the two of us combined, we learned the hard way about flexibility and patience, but as such, we can share what we've learned with you. So I would say with patience, one thing that helps is a glass <laughs> of wine every now and again. Um, but no, all jokes aside, I would say that it took a lot of me finding my pain points. So how long I could be in the car, how many hours of sleep I could have or not have, you know, how much time um, I could spend outside, inside, whatever it was, I found those pain points and then I took a step back from those. So if you're somebody who struggles with patience, my top tip for you is to set your pain points and take a step back from those pain points. So when it comes to flexibility, I guess one of the big things is you wanna plan ahead, but you don't want your plans to be concrete. For example, Last year when we did our first big trip, which was like a nine week trip, leading up to that, the most we had done, I think was like five nights. Yeah. Um, so what we did is we would plan up to maybe 10 days in advance. Yes. Because we weren't sure what we were gonna come across. We might come across a city or an area that we think is amazing. And by keeping that flexibility, we were able to stay in some areas longer than what we had anticipated. Well, so Chris likes to take photos as well. So if you follow us on Instagram or any of that, you'll see he's a phenomenal photographer. And one of the things with flexibility is that he has a particular idea of a particular shot that he wants to get at a particular time of the day and Levi's not having it or the kids get hungry or the weather turns and it can change the whole mood if we aren't able to be flexible and either stay an extra day so maybe he can try again or he says you know what we'll circle back around some other time you know things like that it really does help when you realize that the whole journey and experience is important it's the most it important is. thing trying to make sure that even when the kids are losing it and they're getting loud and they're getting frustrated um try not to have loud conversations no! That sounds crazy, but this weird thing happens where the louder your voice gets, the angrier you actually start to feel. I don't know what we're yelling about! So if the kids start getting upset and I start raising my voice, or even we're trying to back into a spot, you know, in an RV park, and I'm at the way back of the RV, and Chris is up at the truck at the front, and I'm even having to just yell instructions to him, that starts to get our blood boiling a little bit more and patience then runs very thin. So another tip that I would say is try not to have loud conversations, especially if you start feeling yourself escalating. Intentionally try to just bring down your voice, right? So getting quieter, softer voices when you're starting to feel frustrated will actually help you to bring your patience back in check. Going back to flexibility, I think another really important thing is to give yourself an ample amount of time, okay? So for example, like sometimes the drive would say on Google Maps, like, oh, it's only four hours. And we would think, yeah, that sounds no problem. We'll be there by noon, we'll have lunch there and everything will be good. Yeah. Wrong. Give yourself ample amount of time. Four hours on Google Maps is closer to maybe four and a half, five hours with no stops when you're pulling an RV. Yes. We gotta remember we're driving at a slower speed than everyone else, and it's not gonna be a four hour drive. Mix that in with kids have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> we gotta stop to get a snack. Yeah. You know, whatever it is, things happen. So yeah. giving yourself enough time, it helps with the patience 
as well. And the well. flexibility. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really, that. that's probably one of the biggest tips is being prepared and giving yourself ample amount of time to get it yeah. done. So just to summarize, you know, just to bring us all back together, like patience, flexibility, two most important things. You cannot leave your house without those things, especially if you're traveling with kids. And we are not the most patient or flexible people. So not everybody is. So don't let that stop you from trying to do this. It's a learning curve for everybody. You're not going to be perfect. I still lose my patience. He still sometimes is inflexible, but those are things that we're just mindful about every time we leave. Like, do we have our patience? Do we have our flexibility? Are we doing the best we can? At the end of the day, when you're leaving your house with everything else you need to, for your trip, make sure that you throw that patience and that flexibility in there because it will make everything else so much more worthwhile. Yeah, and I think it's just really just keeping it kind of in the front of your mind. If you like this content, please click the like button and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed we do have other other content out there and we are planning other content like next week when we go up to napa we're going to talk about how to keep your marriage happy healthy and, and connected while you're traveling with your kids it can be a challenge <laughs> yes. but you can do it so with that being said we'll see you guys in a week we're going to try to release videos every wednesday so please hit, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys on wednesdays <laughs>